Let's look at this show. Oh, I've seen your festival. Oh, yeah. Oh, I want to put it on my door. Yeah. Oh, stick, them, stick them in a random jack somewhere and get me a subscriber, will you? <laughs> All right, what's up, everyone? We've got something a little bit different than this one for you. It's the return of the Irish gaming market. Now, the gaming market is spread over a full weekend this time. So we're going to split it into two videos. Today is going to be a little bit more of a casual kind of walk around. We're going to go hands free. We're going to strap the GoPro to our chest and just do a little walk around and give a feel for what the market is like. Talk to a few of the vendors and pick up a few bits that we have on a little list here. Now we're not going to be going as crazy as we did in the last one with our scavenger list but I do have a few items that I want to keep an eye out for at the market. And then day two I think it's probably going to be more about trying to find as many bargains as we can. Day two of conventions as you know a lot of sellers don't want to go home with stuff. There might be some good deals to be had. So we'll see how we get on today, see how much money we have left tomorrow, we'll set a little budget and see how many games or how many bits and pieces we can pick up for that budget on day two of the Irish gaming market. But before we head off let's have a quick look at the list. Now if you see anything on here that I end up showing the footage that I don't pick up please tell me in the comments you know I'm always missing stuff I'm too busy looking at games chatting whatever else so if I do miss something on the list make sure and let me know but these are all the items that we're looking for a little bit of an obscure mix we're looking for some buzz buzzers I've mentioned them so many times in the videos lately we need to try and finally get a set of these buzzers a pro controller for the Wii U just a bog standard classic Wii controller we want to see if we can find any Wii U games for under around a tenner or so like I said we don't have a massive budget with us maybe this will be more of a day two sort of thing and then a couple of SNES classics that we're looking for for the collection. Uni Rally, we're looking for Rock and Roll Racing, International Superstar Soccer Deluxe. I know it seems like a strange one, but it's got sentimental reasons for me, so I want to see if we can pick that up. A copy of Waterworld on the SNES. Waterworld is one of my favourite films. Paper! Who guys have you ever seen paper? Melon. So yeah, let me know if you like it or not. But until recently, I didn't even know there was a SNES game for it. So we'll keep an eye out for it. We'd love to get it in the box. We're not massive inbox collectors. But I think that'd be a cool one to get in the box, but even the loose cart will do. We're looking for a copy of Majora's Mask. We're looking for the NTSC J version of that. And we're looking for a USA NTSC version of Ocarina of Time. Just to try and fill out the Zelda Shrine. We've got an NTSC J and a PAL version of Ocarina of Time. And we have the USA version of Majora's Mask. Not going to be looking for the PAL version of that. That's something that we'll probably try and pick up from CX with trade credit. But anyway. We're not going to keep it any longer. That's our list. That's what we're looking out for. Let's get out there. Let's get on the road. Let's get into the game of market. Go for a walk around and see what we can find. I'm off already. Now I'm thinking. I've no switch on the list, but yet I'm like looking at it already. Yeah. First thing you look at. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of take back. How's it going, Yari? Keep him well. Mm. I didn't come here looking for any tiger handhelds and then looking at all these. Oh, good luck. Mm. Uh, How are you, sir? Hello, how's things? Keep well? Not too bad at all. Good stuff, good stuff. How are you getting on? Nearly all set? All done. All done. Yeah. You, can, imagine. you keys for the new place on Monday. Oh, happy so days. Don't have to unpack. <laughs> Grand, lovely stuff. You just start dragging stuff next door, basically, then, yeah? Literally dragging. <laughs> you need a hole in the wall, that's what you need. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, all right, yeah, all good. Not a bother. I'm just doing a little pass around first and then. Have a little look at everything. Try and keep the wallet in the back pocket for a while, like, yeah, 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 and see. It's just crazy. You get the light of land, I suppose, you know? <laughs> see you in a bit, Becky. Mm. 
How are you, man? You alright, Jeff? Keep him well? How are you? Oh. Still a quick pass, a proper route in the wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do give us some this place. I'll come back to you. There's a few bits I'm after, yeah. I'll come back to you later on for them, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> How are you, man? How are you, man? Good. Keep well, yeah, all good. Oh, yeah, I am. That's the plan anyway, yeah, so. And I was so unprepared for this one. I've got a car full of stuff that's over here. Oh, really, yeah? Oh, look, it's the joys of the two days. You're the only two of them, yeah? Yeah. Oh, God, man. Jesus, praise the stuff. Let me grab that yesterday. I can take cash and cards so we'll charge him. I have to fix it anyway for someone else. Here, I'll give you some cards. Let's just talk about it. Sound man, thanks. Sorry about that. I'll chat to you later on, Monroe. You know what? Why is there as long as in this round? I actually Google the rest to make sure I'm not going to I'm not going to stick with the you alright? That's man. Keep him well. Oh, good. Here, thanks. Good to see you. See you, sir, for you. Oh, daddy, thanks a million. No hassle, no hassle. Yeah, I'll have to get that sorted out now when I get home. Because <laughs> I feel I need a bit funny out there or something. But... I don't have a clue what I'm looking at. I have one or two at home. I, can I know. I don't, even, I don't have a clue what I'm I don't even have a clue what I'm looking at. I was yeah, literally, yeah. I was at the bleeding, I was at the shopping. Thanks for recommendations for any videos. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Impulse buy, yeah. was it? Impulse buy, I was just at the register and I was like, you know what? I got a packet of Pokemon cards with a crack and open them and found a 50 quid card in it, so, you know. No, Deadly, thanks for that, man. Just, I have sleeves at home. I bought them off, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Timu or one of these things ages ago in case I came across them. And sure, nice. I don't know what the for neighbors' cars or something like that probably fit in them. Like, I don't know. You know. So swing back around the wall. Just do a little laugh and get the light land, yeah. How are you? Well, you all right, yeah? I can open it up for you, like they're just they're quite hard to leave. James, those things you are yeah, all good. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, mate. It's just five five bucks to go. How are you? Yeah, alright, yeah. Oh sorry. Oh, it's a thing to get the number of the number of the number of the number of Alright, well that's great. Uh, that's great work. Well, yeah. Sorry about that. Alright. Um, so do I pay you two separately? No, you pay me in one lot. So, can you take care of it or? I can do, yeah. You want. Yeah. Find it in Adam. Get something. I'm just flicking. I'm just flicking for a minute. Find an N64 game I need. They're all expensive. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst part of it, isn't it? They are expensive. And then a Metroid game I don't need. Ah, well. But you know, these things happen. That's the fun part of it. Alright, 
I'm almost afraid to look in the Wii U because like I'm <laughs> I'm kind of after cheap or stuff, but I know I'm probably gonna see something and I'll be like, ah. Oh. So I can't believe that time you got that Silent Hill here on the charity shop. Oh, it's not first shop. First time ever, first shop, like yeah, and good luck. Did you get that Twilight Princess thing sorted or it's on the way. It's on the way. Well hopefully. <laughs> I brought the I brought the Gambi one up yesterday. Yeah. So they were grand, they took it straight off me, so I was just saying to them like just don't like don't send it back to me. They're not please. supposed to send them though, are they? No, they're not. No, that's what Roman said in there. She goes, I'll mark it as collection only so that if someone wants to click and collect it, they can get a fair warning then. Fair so she said if you go on yeah, just so I have another one getting delivered. It was in stock in Tallinn and it was in stock in like Waterford or something like that. So oh, okay. I was I was, wasn't driving over to Tallinn at late in twelve o'clock on a Friday. It never made it back and back. Like do you know what I mean? So I actually do have one of these on the list of stuff I'm looking for. I need a Wii U Pro Controller as well, so... 80, 30, 40... Yeah, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it was. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Sorry, yesterday. Yeah. Sorry. Is it turkey for crystal Xbox or is it just a box? It's, 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 broken, it's got the box Xbox in it, but the um, one start. Um, oh, okay. uh, it's got a controller in it, and it's the box. Oh, yeah. But it's, it's just like it was my one, and I turned out it didn't, yeah. didn't work. So um, basically, this is getting expensive already. I've got sixty quid worth of stuff here. That's nearly half the budget going to be blown here as it is. Yeah. <laughs> Two days, uh, no, we, we couldn't come up last night, set up. Yeah, last time I came on the Saturday to set up, it was chaos, like, so I've been prepared this year, <laughs> this time. Thank you, sir. Recently got an empty case for that one, so that's going to complete that. That's pretty cool for €3. Euro. Brilliant, thank you. Mm. We've got a year of a few loose games. See this right here that we need that we can complete at home. Is someone looking for that off me the day? I think it's the game disc that I'm looking for.
people in the room, see what else we can take over. Big fan. Oh, cheers, mate. Thanks a lot. Yes. I'm just trying to get inception in some footage. Looking through this NASCAR so I can see anything that's on our little list. <laughs> No. Hi, yeah. Not really so far. Cash or card? Card. Card's good, yeah, yeah. I don't see anything boxed either, so. Perfect. Thank you very much. So this is an art down retro game, there's been some cool ass stuff in here. Lots of import stuff here. We're still looking for a Japanese Majora's mask, actually. <laughs> Don't see it there, though. A few more behind two. No, I'm not seeing it in there. Yes, yeah, yeah. No, it's everything. It's like some of the bigger things come and chase a bat. Oh. The lads. These guys have some awesome, awesome toys and figures. we know what we How's it going, do yeah, it's hard to I don't know why. I don't I like to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Everything inside the skin, right? Oh, look. Hmm? Little bag down there. I have to spend 60 over James's. That's why I've spent 300 pizzas. I've been <laughs> well, that's half my budget, you know. I didn't even have a budget, I just said I'd go along and see if I need any. Well, I say half the budget, half the cash that I brought with me after swearing I was going to stick to cash only. So, we shall see what happens, you know. I'll just see is there anything, like I've literally got like two, three SNES games on the list that I never see. Do you know what way? Uh, I'm looking for Uni Rally. 
uh, rock and roll racing. Uh, a few more then. Oh, cool. No bother. Uh, what else have I got on the list? Uni Rally, Rock and Roll Race, and Water World. There's a man we don't see too often though. No. Want to try and get? Yeah, want to try and get Water World. Funnily enough. Oh, uh, all right, cool, thanks. That wasn't the list. We're just seeing that you're ahead of the bike, so we're trying to fix it. I'm looking for you everywhere. Primal Rage. Ah, 15. <laughs> no, none of them. Ah, uh, this is quite great, eh? Incredible. X Zone. Yeah, it's very expensive. It's very expensive and very rare. It's crazy. I Sweet. Nothing on my list. No worries, man. Thanks a lot. Welcome. I'm looking for the rare. I'm looking for the rare cheap stuff. It doesn't turn up that often, do you know. <laughs> I'm not. I follow you, or to be honest, I, I do. Yeah, ah, uh, class. I saw you found the cover uh, of Spider-Man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good catch. It's <laughs> not to sell them, but yeah, yeah. I'll leave them out for you. Uh, 21, this is Collection Mania here on Instagram. Just scan that QR code and take it straight to their page. Oh, uh, we you, oh, uh, we you. Oh, I've been editing this for too long, I need help. It is the Ocarina. I can't remember which ones I have in them. I think I possibly have that. Found the Merit Acid, I don't know. Oops. How are you? You well? How are you? How are you? We're, we're a bit under pressure, we're not going to lie, actually. We're going to buy more stuff. Stop, will you? I've got half my money gone already. Can make me sell stuff? Yeah, I know, it's desperate. Ah, three for five. We have to root a few over here. Terminators. Yeah. Yeah. What is this from? This is the new um, Deep Sea Thank you very much. Have a good day. Collaboration one that they're doing with all the other like Multiverses. You are correct. The Multiverses. And it is Harley Quinn. So that's 10 and 9. So we want to answer well. What's the story? What's the story? Eleven nine. Alright, let's continue on. This one is getting a little bit more neat. So if you're proper addicted to certain games, anyone that plays it at least that's like two or three games. You have a long game. The ghost. They're not it! You should have done it! This one, probably five percent. You're the last winner of the Irish game of Marcus. I'm sure you would have won it again. The tenor's worth there. Yeah, yeah. I got um three found three in the bargain bin. What's that? So ten is over. Yeah, yeah. Tell them. Cheers, thanks a million. Yeah, yeah, I started with 140, I'm down to 40, so. <laughs> and I'm still just browsing, like, I'm not even buying that, and I'm just looking around at the moment and sussing it out, you know? I should look. It's all stuffed up well. Well done, yeah, well played. So, where are we right now? Oh, we just bought this loose. That's 10. Okay, 
Okay. No manual though, so. Well, actually, a few SNES cards, what are the odds? And I'm the uncle to the are my monkeys? Are my tourists? Are my mafia or my tourists? I probably definitely sorry. Sorry. I need teachers out there that will make this one sorry for giving you a stroke. I'll be on there for something. Nothing on our list for the switch, but you know yourself. We see something. Yeah. And I don't want to play with I'm amazed. All the more I'm amazed. 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 i am amazed 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 i Put it down there too when you open a new store. Yeah, uh, so uh, look for that one anyway. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. You're a Famicom man as well, yeah? I have everything. You have everything, don't you? Yeah. You're me. Um, that is cool, I'll be tempted to grab that. Okay. No worries, no worries at all. Um, so yeah, we have many indie developers. We have oh. the, the Moon Addicts, we have Battle Claws, and we have Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Yeah. Where you can get hands on with any indie titles and shots to the developers. And oh, you want cards, yeah, so. As well, and it's similar. It's good to see IGN bringing in more of the indie developers and show them off. The indie developers that we've I love this Commodore stuff. Especially the Black Sun Triple A. You can of course shop wide array of vendors in the market floor, which you've already had. Yeah, I have this house before I can do that. You can buy high chair t-shirts for free. Sorry, are you coming to get free? Yep. You know, we love a demo here. Did you get it sold, did you? Yeah. 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 And an exclusive video game. For those who are surviving and wondering what's on stage, you might have that one already, I don't know. Next, we're going to be finding off some of the enemies right now with your game. And then you can have a couple of hours. they brought it out before they brought out the Rumble one. Yeah. Yeah. Closing the day on stage, we'll be having our gaming tournament finals, which will be shown on the screen behind me here. Throughout the day, ITM Center Zone will be open for players. Who Get it yet? That's another four. Yeah. I think I've done a pass of these already. I got shoot them again. Yeah. I've no idea. I've so many empty cases at home, and like, oh, yeah. for the sake of a quid, like I'm sure I can complete something, but I don't know what. Yes, yeah, so this is it. Oh. Right, I'll keep going. We packed for pass number three, so. <laughs> Look at this show. Uh, 15 euro, I think we have to grab that. 
Is there no lads? I'll take that off you, Becky. There you go. Thanks, Mill. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Thanks. I should not look at her. Are you guys here? How's it going, John? Nice I to meet you. I sent you a few comments on YouTube. I have you. I'll fair play to you. Getting a party. Sega. Sega. Well, as a kid, Sega was me big. Oh, yeah. So, I gave it all away when I was young. Actually, we all did. Tried to buy it all back. Anyway, gentlemen. Yeah, I saw your last video when you got Ah, class. It was so funny. Oh, it stop. It was so funny. <laughs> well, for, not for you, but your not reaction me, no. was very good. Ah, should look. Yeah, that's it. Ah, thanks a million. Really appreciate that one. How are you? Hi. I'll give you cash, yeah, no, that's fine. It's great. Tab Perfect, thanks, Mill. You can choose a free sticker as well. Oh, well, I think you know what one I'm going for. Oh. Should like that one. Yeah, yeah. Bring it home. Thanks a million for that. Thank you. And that's the budget gone. Yes. Not for me. Ah, uh, so now you can buy more because you bought hers. Exactly. Yeah, that's. We'll get it. Josh, if you're ready to lock in, we can get the green. I need some memory, so like I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel you guys smile. Well. I want to say no, I don't know if I'm I can feel like you don't have to get a good one. 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. I'm going to give you a side and say, well, I don't know if I'm going to keep the straight one. 36, 39, 35, 29, it is. Is the Metal Gear collection gone? No, I just shook it in the back there. A couple of people wanted me to just take it out of the plastic so they could see inside it. The whole lot of the Muppets bar is cool. That is sweet. I've oh, seen your press the book. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's, it'll be discreet in this business, you know? And <laughs> um, yeah, no, then they're all discs. It's like Legacy Collection, but it's all discs. You want to download, there's no download codes, right? And uh, if it's here tomorrow, I'm, I'm stealing it. I've already told him I'm not buying it, I'm stealing it. <laughs> well, if he kicks up a fuss, you can throw him out. <laughs> you're, you're right, I do run the event. <laughs> I think they're what you want, yeah, just steal from them and just be like, no. Just for the record, I obviously don't condone stealing or abusive power or anything of those sorts. Oh, look at this. Let's go! I don't see how much of this is. I might actually pick it up. If I do, I have a story to tell about it, but. <laughs> This is what my mental on the list last few times as well, and I keep forgetting to do it because I didn't think I'd actually come across one. But how much is stay puffed? You can take them. I know, you're giving something. You sure? I have a story, I have a story to tell about I'll speak about you fondly. I've actually I have a really nice story to tell about this. He might need a wipe. That's it. I'll give him a wipe down. Yeah, that's not bad, but yeah. No, you see me tell a nice sentimental story about that, like, yeah, 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 that's dead, man. Thanks so much for that. Ah, oh, trust me, it's. I'm trying not to at the moment because it actually brings back a really nice memory, so. <laughs> Thanks so much for that, man. Straight in, like, yeah. 
There's probably figures I have already as well, do you know what I mean? But... <laughs> you will be finding some serious stuff around the charity shops. Ah, yeah, well... You just keep hitting them. That's what I keep saying to people. Everyone keeps saying, I'm not finding that, and I'm just like, I oh, know it's shit, but like... Yeah, but just go, and I go to the same... Like, people give out about me going to the same charity shops all the time. I go probably... What you see in the videos is probably 5% of what I actually do, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm constantly at it. Because I'm lucky with shift work and that work, like I might be at work at 1 o'clock with the two or three charity shops in the way. So never see it happen, but you know. Yeah. And it's not like I'm using petrol driving for me to be like, they're all local stuff, they're all on the way into work, isn't it? Uh, I think I have those too. Pretty sure I have that Luigi. Thank you very much. Would you like to join? We have no I had to just go into the shrine. It's not that I have any room for stuff anymore, but you know. Huh? Well, we'll oh, Trade there, alright? Cheers, thanks. But if you want to follow back to us on socials, that would be very important if you did that. Three more little bits of the Mario show. This is what I love about conventions like this. Just these random little bits and pieces that we kind of see the odd time in charity shops, but we can have a nice little route through and pick out stuff that we like, so a nice little grab. I already paid for them. <laughs> Another yeah. Ah, oh, they're already full. I'm trying to offload stickers. See you stickers for it. I'm going to put it on my door. Yeah. So I left. Stick, it them, in, stick them in a random jack somewhere and get me a subscriber, will you? <laughs> yeah, so. There's me TikTok buddy. I've been over a few times and haven't had a chance to say hello. <laughs> I know, yeah, this is the thing, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Adam. So we're back from the game of market and we're back up in the game room. Hopefully you enjoyed the footage from that one. As I said, it was something a little bit different. We strapped the GoPro to the chest, went a bit more POV style, a little bit of a slower pace, bit of a longer video, just sort of wandering around, letting you kind of see and get a feel for what the market was all about. But don't forget, there's still a day two to come to, well, for me, it's to come tomorrow. For you, it'll probably be in another week or so. But make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on video number two. Bit of a different type of video. This will be more of a traditional down and dirty game hunting video. We get stuck into some bargain bins and see what sort of bargains we can pick up at the game of market. So I said, make sure your notifications are on and that you're subscribed to the channel and that you don't miss out on video number two. But yeah, still video two to come, so we've plenty of time to chat about the market. Let's get on with the pickups and have a look at what we grabbed in there today. So I want to try and do this in order of waiting to see them pick me up in the video so that I don't forget it and then leave something out. But in order to do that, I have to go back from before the camera even started rolling. When we got there, I met my mate Thomas. I've mentioned before about a Facebook page where we kind of do a few draws and stuff like that. Thomas is someone who hosts some amazing draws on that page. And we actually were lucky enough to win one of them about a week before the market. So obviously rather than posting them out we arranged to meet up there and for him to give me these four games so we kind of just met up in the car park before we went in but this was a class way to start the game of market weekend but basically the prize was i'm pretty sure there are four mortal kombat games on the ps2 and we won all four of them now i might have one of these already maybe we have two i don't know i'll have a little think about what we'll do with them i know there's probably some stuff that we're going to pick up over this weekend that we're going to end up doubling up with we might do a little mix of kind of bringing some of it to cx and trading for something nice and then we do have something to give away i'll probably do that in the next video another member of that facebook group alistair very kindly donated a very nice prize for us to give away in the channel so we'll probably do that in the we'll do some sort of giveaway in the next video maybe we'll do the duplicates from the game and market in the next video and then we still have to do our sort of our game hunting episode 60 special so maybe we'll keep the game that alistair sent us for that we'll talk about it at some stage anyway back to the four mortal kombat games we got a copy of deadly alliance deception armageddon and Shailen Monks. These are all in absolutely beautiful condition. They're all fully complete with manuals. So an excellent addition to the PS2 shelf and hopefully a possible addition for someone else if we already have one or two of them. So yeah, we went into the game and market from there anyway. Had a little bit of a stroll around the forest like I always do. Just want to kind of say hello to a lot of the vendors that I know. Kind of get a feel for the market, make sure everyone was happy enough with me going around sticking cameras everywhere or whatever like that. But the first stop where we actually picked stuff up was James's boot, Rewind Retro Gaming. Probably spent about half our budget here, I think, but we managed to actually, funny enough, get, I think it was one, two, three items off our list. Now, I don't think we've seen anything else 
on the list today. We might have, we'll get into it later on anyway, but as I said, we still have tomorrow to go, so hopefully we can get a few more bits off that. But the first thing that we picked up was this plain old classic Wii controller. Now I've never had one of these. I was kind of holding out buying one because I always thought I'd come across like, you know, a Wii bundle on Facebook where one of these would be in there and we'd keep it for the collection and part of all the other stuff and get our money back that way. But never came across one. So it's been on the CEX wish list for a while. I have seen a few of them in there, but they haven't been in great condition. But this one is absolutely beautiful condition. Normally when you see them, these analog sticks and the D-pads are very yellow on it, but this is a lovely bright white original Wii controller and a great price at 10 euro as well just why we love going to these gaming markets it can save so much money compared to picking stuff like this up in CEX so definitely if you haven't been to one yet I'm sure there's another one coming well there's nothing official announced yet but I'm pretty sure there's another one coming in November and I'm pretty sure it's going to be another two day one as well so keep an eye out for that and make sure that you head along to it and the next item that we picked up was on the list as well we might as well get to trade them out of the way early but grab this black Wii U Pro Controller. Again, this is something that's been on the wish list for a little while. Now that we have, well, we've had the Wii U since Christmas and Santi brought it for us, but now that we have the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess on there, you'll have to let me know when I do get around to playing them, should I be playing with the Wii U gamepad or should I use one of these Pro Controllers? I kind of, when I played Twilight Princess originally, I would have played that on the Wii because I only got it for the GameCube a couple of years ago. I never actually got it originally. I think I played, yeah, played that on the Wii and I had Wind Waker on the GameCube. See, obviously the GameCube version, a bit more of a traditional controller still, but Twilight princess and the wii we would have sort of used some of the motion controls you know with that nunchuck the wii remote but never actually played it with a proper controller so i don't know should i play it with the gamepad should i play it with this you'll have to let me know down below but anyway another list item 20 euro another great price and another beautiful condition controller to add to the collection and while we were on a roll with amazing price stuff from james's boot we managed to get this freeloader for the gamecube now this does work for the wii as well i think if you've got your wii modded you can pop this in and then you can play american wii discs as well which might well come in handy i'm pretty sure that lwi i have there is modded from back in the day and we have picked up a good few sort of Wii NTSC USA games without even knowing until you kind of got back to the game room. We haven't done that with them, they're still sitting around here, so we might actually be able to get them in and give them a play. But yeah, 10 euro, great price in this. Something that we wanted for the collection for a long time, and we can add it to our little GameCube shelf with our other 20 or whatever games we have for that at this stage. And then two more items from James's boot. We managed to get this disc only copy of Time Crisis, the PS1. This was, I say it was 3 euro, he just threw it in with the other stuff, but we actually got. You would have seen it in a recent video. My mate Shane sent me out a really nice little mystery box of stuff. And there was a good few PS1 games in there. And there was actually an otherwise complete Time Crisis Platinum in there. It had the case, the original cover. It had the manual in there as well. And now we've managed for the sake of three euro to pick up a loose disc copy of this to complete that game. So we already have one up there. We might bring that one up to CEX and see. I'm actually curious what the trade-in procedure is like with PS1 games. I can't imagine they can be as fussy with sort of disc marks and stuff like that. Obviously deep scratches, but like PS1 games anyone who has them knows notoriously they just so easily pick up little sort of little sort of surface marks and stuff like that from just being handled I mean put in the console so we might bring it up see what we can get in trade credit for it and if we can't trade it in and there show you know yourself we'll probably just give it away as well so again keep an eye out for future videos and don't miss out on your chance to possibly win this and some other really nice goodies but the last one that we got for now from James at Boot was this Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is the NTSC USA card, so this was on the list. I'll try and jimmy in some footage from the Zelda Shrine. I'll probably forget all about it, but look, you all know what it looks like at this stage. But we've got a few different N64 cards there. We've got the PAL Ocarina of Time. We've got the NTSC Japan version of it, and then we've got the USA. So three really nice cards from that collection. Obviously, we can start going looking for gold cards, all that sort of stuff. If we come across them in the future, great. If not, you know yourself. But we have an American Majora's Mask there as well. Still to pick up a PAL copy of that, and still have an NTSC J version of it on the list as well. So you'll have to keep an eye out for tomorrow's video to see if we can spot that on day two at the market. But for now, happy enough to add this one to the Zelda Shrine. And I know I did say I'd do it in chronological order, but look, while we're talking about this boot, we did go back for a round two, a round three, and probably a round four as well at some stage. Now I'm just realizing I'm missing one of these. Here it is. But, um, sorry, I've got stuff scattered everywhere beside me here. But yeah, on one of the other laps, we kind of just, I didn't really want to root too much in. They had a lot of like, sort of demo discs, loose disc stuff. I know I picked up that time crisis, but it's just so tempting to get in there and get stuck in and start looking at this stuff. But I was really trying to kind of keep some of the stuff for Sunday. I wasn't too sure if people were bringing extra stuff for the second day, what sort of stuff we were going to see, but didn't want to blow my load basically on the first day. So I kind of had a quick flick through. I ended up grabbing these because they were four euro, but we will go back there tomorrow and we'll have a proper route through a lot of the loose disc stuff, a lot of the demo disc stuff, CS retinas so that we can pick up. And like I said, there's plenty of other bargain bins at other people's boots that you would have seen, but we didn't really get stuck into properly because we need to save that for tomorrow not that i've got that much money left to save anyway but sure we'll talk about how much we've got left anyway at the start of tomorrow's video but yeah just grab these four demo discs these are playstation magazine ireland demo
demo disc. So as a follower of the channel, you'll probably know a couple of videos ago, we managed to pick up a really nice, probably 12 or 13 copies of original PlayStation Ireland magazine. And these are the demo discs that would have came with it. Now I mentioned Thomas earlier on, uh, again, another couple of episodes ago, we did a little deal with him where we bought a nice little bundle of demo discs. And also one, this box PS1 that's behind me here, and that came with a few demo discs as well. So we were talking about that at the market, like we couldn't remember which ones he'd actually sent me, but I think between the box PS1, the little bundle that I picked up, and these few, we probably have been able to match up a lot of the demo discs with those magazines I have. So I must actually get a few like sort of slim jewel cases, sit down and have a look at all the magazines compared to the demo discs and just do a little comparison of how many we've got complete that could actually make a nice little short video or a little reel or something so maybe that's something that we'll do during the week but yeah just grab edition 10 to 12 and number one as well so really nice to have those like i mentioned before it would be cool to get like a little complete collection of playstation or the magazines with all the demo discs i can't think there'd be too many people out there to have those but i don't know maybe we're up to about 12 or so now so that's really nice to have and something again that we keep an eye out for going forward at conventions and stuff like that and maybe we can keep adding to that little collection and then i think our next stop was look it's probably out the window at this stage doing it in chronological order but yeah, our next stop I think was Adam's Boot at Replay Games. He had a nice little burger bin where he was doing three for fiver. So we were having a route through there and picked these three up. We managed to get a Wii U game. So technically that's probably something else off the list because we said we wanted to buy cheap Wii U games under tenner and a three for fiver, this was definitely well under tenner. But a copy of the Lego movie for the Wii U. That probably brings us up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight possibly eight or nine games now for the Wii U and we still have tomorrow to go as well so we're probably five percent towards a complete set there so we're absolutely flying on that little sub challenge I'm, I'm joking I'm not going for a complete Wii U set but who knows what's going to happen this year we've got a few little things up our sleeve so maybe that's something that'll come along so if we can pick them up for three for five or we'll try and do that all day long but I don't think they'll all come as cheap as that but the other two that we picked up in it was Sega Superstars Tennis. I think I grabbed this in the last video. I got like a sealed version of this on the 360 in a charity shop. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out down below. We kind of did a bit of a slog, didn't have much joy for a while. And then we kind of ended that on a really high note with some really nice pickups. But yeah, I know I had a sealed version of this in the 360. <laughs> Again, you know yourselves, lads, it's an addiction. They were three for five, I don't have this on the Wii U, so we had to. But the last one that we picked up in the three for five was Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I actually don't have this game. I must, again, something I have to kind of have a look at is which Harry Potter games I have across all of these systems here. I have to have a complete set of all the games at this stage, like between the Wii, the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360. Do I possibly have one of the original Xbox? I think I even have a bloody Game Boy one there and I've only got about six Game Boy games, but we must nearly have a complete Harry Potter set at this stage. But this one I definitely didn't have, but yeah, that was well worth picking up for the sake of three for five, but that could have been our missing piece for all I know. And that could be the last game that we needed for the little Harry Potter subset. And then while I was there, I grabbed this Taz Escape from Mars cart. Now you'll have to tell me if this is any good. Yeah, as I mentioned before, I did have a cousin who sort of had, I think it was a Master System and a Mega Drive going up. I can't remember, but obviously we'd be over in his house playing his Sega stuff. He'd be over over here playing Nintendo stuff and we do the odd like console swap at the weekend we had swap your console and game so I definitely remember having I'm pretty sure it was the master system downstairs I remember playing I think it was Sonic 2 I have it over there and I have it on the master system I must actually plug it in and have a proper play of it one day and see if it comes back to me but if you've been watching the channel for a while you know like a lot of the background music and stuff that we use there's a lot of Sonic remixes and stuff in there and there's definitely some Sonic 2 music there that really takes me back so definitely need to pop that in and give it a play but anyway speaking of Sega games as I said Taz Escape from Mars never played it, don't know anything about it, just had a bit of uh, an affinity for Taz back in the day, so had to pick it up for a fiver. You'll have to let me know down below if this is actually any good or if it's an absolute tank of a game. And then next up along the way, I'm pretty sure it was Becky's boot, me, myself and Misha. Now I tried my best to kind of link to like Instagrams and stuff like this as I stopped at these boots. Obviously there's still places I have to go to tomorrow and I'll try and add everyone for the whole weekend in the description below so you can go and kind of click on their pages, check them out. But just when you see the likes of this, it just goes to show if you're looking for like even little gift ideas, like as great as the market is for going and finding games, trying to find rare games, it's an amazing day out. It's great to rip around. It's great to see all this different stuff. But in terms of like just trying to find gifts for people, like I know it probably sounds stupid because it's August now, but sure, like Christmas will be coming around the corner. So I'm pretty sure Tesco are already selling the bleeding celebrations and heroes and all that. But if you've got someone in your life that kind of is into this, like sort of geeky stuff, video games, all that sort of things, you can't go wrong with clicking on some of these links and checking out some of these vendors. I guarantee if you check them out, you'll find something that'll make a really nice gift for someone and it'll be supporting in independently owned Irish stores so please go and give them as much support as you can but just as an example of that we picked up this Zelda Ocarina of Time diorama now you'll have seen in the videos you'll have seen me mention before Becky does these unbelievable shadow boxes they're absolutely beautiful they look amazing in 
any game room i really need to get a zelda one for this shrine but as i've already mentioned between popping this in the really class link to the past 3d printed map that i got sent a few weeks ago all these things need to go in there so i actually need to just tear this shrine down and rebuild it from scratch it's something that we probably will do now over the next few weeks so i don't know if that's something people are interested in seeing a little mini video on is just taking that apart and building it back up i'm not going to do anything too mad with it obviously i'd like to tidy up a little bit more but i also want to retain the sense of like chaos that's in there so we need to try and strike the balance so again if it's something you'd like to see let me know down below or maybe we'll just kind of save the mystery for the next game room tour which will probably be due speaking of christmas it'll be due not long after that anyway anyway getting back to yeah this little diorama that we bought it's from the ocarina time so i'm sure you can see it clear enough there hopefully the glare isn't too bad but it's like you played epona song i just think that is so cool something that's going to sit really nice in the zelda shrine there and zelda shrine 2.0 is actually shaping up to look really class i can't wait to actually get stuck in get it all displayed and share it with everyone actually just jumping back very quickly to adam's boot replay games you'll have seen the kind of inception video where i was recording on the gopro and he was recording on the far end very kindly sent me that footage that we were able to throw it in i think it made a really nice addition to the video but you'd have seen him handing me these these are just basically card sleeves for pokemon cards i don't know if i featured it in a youtube post or not i think i kind of just put it on instagram maybe and facebook but randomly picked up a packet of pokemon cards there not that long ago you'll heard me talking a little bit more about pokemon lately not something i was ever into but i am trying to kind of familiarize myself with it a little bit more because we're trying to get out to a few of these kind of local i've talked before about car boot sales whatever else i'm not going to go into it again in this one but we are hoping to get to a few even kind of smaller local sales so if we see pokemon stuff here we kind of want to have a little bit of a better idea of what i'm dealing with so anyway randomly picked up a packet of pokemon cards a few weeks ago first time i ever bought them opened them up and i pulled a 50 euro card from in there had to kind of post the community to make sure i wasn't seeing things but yeah i had sleeves here can't remember where i got them i think i got them on team or something like that but they didn't fit the pokemon cards and he very kindly bought me on like a little bunch of 20 of them so actually i'll just show you very quickly it's this one here it's this ursulana ex can you remember the bleeding pack of cards that we got it from anyone who knows the pokemon and lower came from anyway but yeah apparently it's like a 50 euro card so but yeah that was a really nice card to find in a pack of cards that we just bought on a whim so obviously i know it's not going to happen all the time we're not going into the addiction of buying pokemon cards we've enough addictions around this bloody room as it is but anyway moving on to i think the last boot that we bought anything at from today was ian's boot vintage cheese he always has these bins with all these little toys and figures mixed in i love having a route around these sorts of things but just grab three they were euro each we got this bowser we don't have a bowser in there so we can add him in probably our 25th mario at this stage but this one with the hammer and a nice cute little blue yoshi to pop in there as well and i've been talking so long that the camera overheated there so sorry if there was a bit of a i know i'm notorious for the old jump cuts but there might have been a massive frame jump in there so anyway so the last thing that we got for day one at the game of market again it was at ian's boot i seen this stay puffed on the table now this isn't an original one this is from like 2017 but it brought the memories back all the same i mentioned in the videos that this brings back some really really nice memories for me and there's a little story behind it but ian just he just gave this to me he just wanted me to have a free he didn't want that in for it so fair play to you for that mate which i promised to be a little story behind it but yeah, back in the day when i was a kid like toys like we would just spent hours like obviously you know yourself back in our day we would have been outside all day we would have been playing football we've been up and by but a lot of the days we would have played with toys here i was lucky enough that the house that we live on here had like a little corner site and it backed onto like a field so like you literally had the whole garden you could hop the wall like the adventures were endless like but we used to take the toys everywhere with us there was star wars toys they weren't really like when I, mean, I played with them but they were sort of star wars was more my two older brother sort of things but i was like ghostbusters and turtles they were my things that i was fanatical about but yeah i remember sitting out the back garden one day myself and my friend steve and just playing with our ghostbusters toys and you know the two of us had like the stay puffed and we were probably setting all the toys up you know yourself and then we were crushing them down with this fella but i remember remember dad were at the back with me and i remember dad kind of just up and disappearing for about half an hour at one stage but when he came back he actually had a stay puffed brand new in the package and he bought it for me seeing me kind of playing with it and seeing how much fun i was having with it but God, at the time he didn't realize that the stay puffed that i was playing with was actually mine so he came out to buy it just because he wanted to get it for me but um obviously we ended up sharing them i think i kept the old one who made steve and i kept the new one but i actually remember that we burned like one of the little fingers on it with a lighter and that was how we could sort of differenti differentiate which one belonged to who but yeah probably a silly little story but just it's something that brings back a really nice memory for me something really nice that dad did for me and i know it kind of I suppose that kind of leans to why we go looking for all these things because it brings back like some really nice childhood memories probably in a happier time before people have to go and get sick or whatever you know but um yeah really really nice of Ian to give me this as i said something that brought back really nice memories I definitely have to keep an eye out for original one but for now this is going to take pride of place on the shelf we'll clean it up real nice and we'll find a really nice spot from behind us here
So anyway, that's it from day one from the Game of America. I hope you enjoyed it. I am very conscious. I know I've said this a few times in the last few videos and people seem to have still stepped up and watched them. So thanks so much. But I'm definitely very conscious of how long this video is. It's probably going to be pushing nearly an hour at this stage. So hopefully enjoy it. As I said, the next video will definitely not be an hour long. It'll be a bit more, as I said, a bit more edited, a bit more kind of cut down bit more nitty-gritty as I said just at the game of market trying to find as many bargains as we can I think we're going to have a budget of about 50 euro I think we'll just get out there and just see how much stuff we can actually get for that 50 euro budget but we'll see what happens on the day tomorrow you know yourselves we get out there and we'll probably lose the run of ourselves but look if you've watched this far thanks so much for sticking to the end I really appreciate it as always thanks for sticking on the channel subscribe and all that good stuff and we'll see us hopefully in about another week with day two from the game of market but until then look after yourselves thanks a million and we'll see you soon cheers